I'm Bo Bartlett, and we're in the Bo Bartlett Center at Columbus State University. Thank you for coming today. This is the first painting we're gonna talk about. This is Leviathan. Leviathan basically means like a monster. Uh, got the original title from Moby Dick, where he talked about the, the whale, the white whale as being the Leviathan. I'd been wanting to do a painting of Jonah in the whale because when I was a kid, I'd sit in church, the Eastern Heights Baptist Church over here, and I would draw on the bulletin. And while they talked, I would draw, and often I would draw the stories that they were that they were telling, that they were preaching about. So it might be uh, parting the Red Sea, or uh, Noah's Ark, or Jonah and the Whale. And so, as an adult, I I have illustrated many of those stories in my own with my own version of the story in my paintings. Um, but when I was young, I would just draw them as they preached, uh, and I'd always wanted to to do a painting of Jonah and the whale, but I could not figure out how to do it. And so one of the things that um, came up, when I got the idea to do this one was, we were on the island in Maine, Wheaton Island. We had taken a trip around the island. We had walked around the island. And around three quarters of the way around, we came upon this stench. It was this terrible smell. And so, um, I wanted to just pass it. Once, once the wind had taken it, uh, I was like, great. But my son, Will, who I was walking with, said, no, we have to go back and find out what that smell is. So we went over the rocks and, and we heard it before we saw it. We actually heard this buzzing hive. I didn't know what it was. It sounded like a helicopter, but it was the, the loud sound of flies on the, on the whale, on the whale that had washed up over the rocks. The blubber was pulled up over the whales, so it was sort of opened up, and I got the idea right then. I was like, this is how I can present the whale, sort of a, a slit open whale. And uh, out in front of the whale were these two mandibles, which I also, uh, Will picked up, and later I did a painting of Will walking with, with one of those uh, right whale mandibles. This is a family portrait, as in most of my paintings. There are five, five figures. Um, this is me, a self-portrait, and uh, a version of my wife and my youngest son, Elliot, my middle son, Will, and man, Emmanuel, is the figure in the whale. He's wearing this wrap. You'll see this wrap in a, in a lot of the paintings. It's a, a wrap that I uh, stole from Michelangelo in his uh, slave figures and in his um, uh, Christ figures, deposition figures. He was often wearing uh, some version of this wrap I like to imagine in this version of the story that they've come across this whale on the beach and they realize that there's something inside. There's something protruding on the belly of the whale. So this fellow, me, slices it open and reveals the man inside. It's like Schrodinger's whale. You're not sure if he's alive or dead. You're not quite sure. It's like a rebirth. And I think that uh, this period of time when I did the painting in my life, I was in midlife and I was uh, struggling, and it was, the painting represented for me a kind of rebirth into, into life, which we constantly in the cycles of life have, a, have deaths, many deaths, and then rebirths as we uh, move through life. This central figure here of my son, Will, um, this, this was inspired by the painting, Watson and the Shark. Um, there's a version of it in the Boston Museum. There's a central figure up above uh, an African-American figure who's, who's looking down. Interestingly enough, um, that figure influenced um, a central figure at the apex of the Raft of the Medusa, an African-American figure who's sort of waving his shirt. But if, if you look at that figure in Watts, uh, Watson and the Shark, you realize that there's a very similar pose. This V um, on the back of this T-shirt, I had, this figure had many different poses. I had the big shape of the whale and I was peopling it with people around and then I needed something to sort of uh, cement the, the moment to make it feel contemporary because it was feeling a little 1800s. And I, I realized that my son who had just been to Virginia to try to uh, go to school in Charlottesville came back with this uh, V t-shirt as a souvenir and I realized that, that that simple little shape would make it feel more contemporary. And um, a little detail which I don't tell anyone is that the, the, the story in uh, Jonah and the whale, um, Jonah is supposed to go to Nineveh to, to preach, that's the idea. 
You know, he, he's supposed to save the city of Nineveh, which was a, a city that was struggling with lots of problems. And so my little in-joke for that was there's a, a nine here on his shirt, and that's a V for Virginia. So if you spell it out, it's Nineveh. A lot of little in-jokes like that in the paintings. Just I do it just to entertain myself. You'll notice the, the ring that she's holding, the wedding ring, which is the ring is symbolic of the union of opposites.